hustle and bustle here at O'Hare Airport is definitely growing and you can feel it. Now across the board there have been more than 6,000 cancellations of uh, rather delays of flights in and out of the U.S. Now here at O'Hare there have been 481 delays with the average wait time in, in delays being about 24 minutes. Now most of the travelers we've spoken here today said that they came mentally prepared ready for any kind of delay or worst case scenario a cancellation. I took a, a cab one hour earlier than normal so it, it had two hours to get here versus 45 minutes just in case. Great too many people waiting though. I feel for all the people that have to keep waiting. I'm just glad to be here and glad, glad to hopefully be going home. Kathy Parsons is headed to London Heathrow for the holidays. She, like many others flying out today, have been keeping an eye on the weather. While they know it's out of their control, they say they've been doing their part in making it to the airport with ample time. According to flightware.com, more than 4,700 flights have been canceled within, into, or out of the U.S. Aside from Chicago airports in Denver, New York, Boston, in Detroit and Cleveland are reporting the most cancellations. Ryan and Cynthia Muger are from Southern California. They were supposed to fly out of Houston, but plane issues detoured them to Chicago. They spent the night here and will later fly out to Brazil. It was a little frustrating yeah. yesterday. You know, we had a plan to be uh, where we were supposed to be this morning in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. And then it set us back and so we're a little frustrated. Definitely going to be expecting the airline to give us our money back for our flight that we didn't get. Um, but yeah, we're making the best of it. I mean, they gave us some vouchers for some food and they put us in a hotel and gave us a lift there. And so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're fine. We're having a good time. But now, when it comes to cancellations at Midway, they've had more than 310 so far today. Now, the average delay time there being about 26 minutes. For now, reporting live at O'Hare, Christine Flores, WGN News.